Question the member from Elgin, Middlesex, London. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, my, my question is to the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. Minister, back in June, I asked your ministry to give me a breakdown of the capital costs for the St. Tom St. Joseph's Forensic Mental Health Care Centre in St. Thomas. After a dizzying array of emails going back and forth between the Minister of Health and the Minister of Infrastructure, I could not get a straight answer. Today, we learned that you shortchanged the hospital on $3.9 million in annual operating costs and only authorized the money at the last minute. This financial mismanagement is unsettling, but it's what we've come to expect from this government. Yeah. Minister, what other financial oversights have you made with this facility? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. Uh, Speaker, I am very, very happy that the member opposite has asked me this question. Uh, as any member who has had a hospital built in their riding, and there are many of us who have had a new hospital built in their riding, they will know that uh, sometimes hospitals are built for future expansion. They, uh, and we have something called the post-construction operating uh, program yeah. Yeah. that ramps up operating money as the hospital actually increases their capacity. This is the normal business of new hospitals yeah. opening. Uh, applies as well to the uh, hospital in St. Thomas. I was very pleased that uh, we were able to, to follow through on that commitment. Uh, we are not shortchanging any hospital, anything. This is an additional $3.9 million in funding yes, so more people can be cared for in that wonderful new facility. Thank you. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Back to the Minister. Minister, this government has squandered billions on moving gas plants, billions in the orange fiasco, and we're not even close to uncovering how much the Pan Am Games is going to cost us. You yourself has presided over more scandals than any other minister. Your ministry couldn't give me a dollar amount for the capital costs, and apparently still can't, for the hospital that you built in St. Thomas, and you only authorized the $3.9 million in annual operating costs at the last minute after receiving a call from the London Free Press. Uh -oh. For a minister with so many scandals under her belt and who is making major financial decisions on an ad hoc basis, I'm concerned you pose a risk to worthwhile projects like the St. Joseph's Mental Health Forensic Care Center. Minister, what other financial irregularities are you responsible for? Minister. I, speaker, I think this is this member's way of saying thank you for building not just one new hospital, but two new hospitals in his body. So I am very pleased to say you're welcome. And I'm glad the people in the, in the St. Thomas area are getting access to better care. You will know that the previous capacity of the old facility was 80 beds. The new building was built with expanded capacity for 89. And over time, as we always do, Speaker, we will be ramping up funding. This was very much a normal part of business, and uh, I was very happy to confirm that we are expanding to ramp up. Uh, a capacity at the hospital as it gets up and running. Thank you. Speaker. New question. Member from Beaches East York. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. 